So part of our Driving Safely series is this understanding about the blood alcohol content, which I'm sure you're all probably fairly familiar with since most of you have got a license now, or got your L's anyway. The blood alcohol content, or the BAC as we like to call it, is the amount of alcohol that's in your blood. So a person with a BAC of 0.05, which is the legal limit, has 0.5 grams of alcohol per 100 meters. 100 millilitres of blood and this is the maximum blood alcohol for New South Wales drivers. Now blood accounts for around 7% of your weight. So if you're an 80 kilogram male driver, 7% of 80 kilograms would mean you have approximately 5.6 litres of blood. And if you're a 60 kilogram female, 7% of 60 kilograms would give you 42, 4.2 litres of blood. So that's why the blood alcohol levels for women are often higher than that for men drinking the same quantity of alcohol at the same rate. It's simply because we have less blood because we are generally much smaller. As you should all know, the alcohol affects your judgment, your concentration, your comprehension and your reaction time, which is why we have these blood alcohol um, limits for when you drive. So what I also put in here is the standard drinks. The standard drink contains 10 grams of alcohol and these are the different types of standard drinks. Also we need to know about the blood alcohol formula. The blood alcohol formula depends on four factors. The sex of the person, the number of drinks concern, consumed, how quickly the drinks were consumed and the mass of the person, i.e. how heavy you are. And as you can see we have two formulas here. We have one formula for men, and this is the formula 10N over 7.5H over 6.8M. Sounds scary. Not really. N is the number of standard drinks, H is the number of hours drinking, M is the mass in kilograms. It's just a straightforward formula that you will be given if you need to do a question like this. And you can see the blood alcohol content for females is slightly different because females are smaller as I've already said. So let's have a look at what this looks like in practice. So James is an 85 kilogram male who drinks six middies of full strength beer in three hours. So let's have a look at what that is. 85 kilograms, he drinks six middies in three hours. Estimate James's blood alcohol content and decide if he should drive home. Well, let's write down what we have. We have N, which we are told, is the number of standard drinks. How many standard drinks did he have? We're told he had six. From our formula on the previous page, we need to know H as well. So H is the number of hours that he was drinking, and he was drinking for three hours. And M is the last thing we need to know, which is his mass. And we're told that he is 85 kilograms. So what we will do is we'll just write out the formula which you've all got on the piece of paper, and this is for a male. So it's 10N minus 7.5H over 6.8M. And all we have to do now is to plug in the information that we're given. So we've got 10, N we know is 6 because we've already written it out, 7.5H we know is 3, so put a time sign there, all over 6.8 times and M is 85. Nice and simple. We pop that into the calculator and we get an answer of 0 0.0648. Now knowing that the legal driving limit is 0.05, do you think he should drive? No, he should not drive. So James should not drive because he's over the legal limit. Okay, let's have a look at our second question then. Justin and Brittany were at a party for five hours. Justin, who weighs 75 kilograms, had six standard drinks and Brittany, who weighs 85 kilograms, had five standard drinks. Who had the lower blood alcohol concentration? 
So we can just do this in two parts. So let's have a look at the very first part. Let's have a look at Justin. Let's see what we know about Justin. So we're told N is 6. That's how many standard drinks he had. H was how long was he drinking for? Well, he was drinking for 5 hours. And M is his weight. And we know he's 75 kilograms. So we can put that into our formula, our blood alcohol formula for males. And we've got 10 N minus 7.5 H over 6.8 M. And that's going to be 10 times 6 minus 7.5 times 5 all over 6.8 times 75. And that gives a blood alcohol content of 0 0.0. 441 and we'll just round that to 0 0.044. That looks pretty easy. Now let's have a look at Brittany. So Brittany, so let's write down what we know about Brittany. Well we know that she also had, no she didn't, she had five standard drinks she was there for the same amount of time, which was five hours. And she is much lighter, as you'd expect. She weighs 58 kilograms. So the formula, the blood alcohol content for females, is 10N minus 7.5 times H all over 5.5 M. So now we can just plug those numbers into the formula. 7.5 times 5 all over 5.5 times 58. And we work this out and we get 0. 0.0391. So let's just round that to 0 0.039. Nice and easy. Now the last part of the question, part B, which obviously, as you all know me, I always run out of room, is talking about Justin's mass in what his blood volume is. So if 7% of Justin's mass is blood, what is his blood volume? Well, to find out his blood volume, what we have to do, B-O-L-U-M-E, can't spell, what we have to do is we just need to find 7% of his weight, because we're told that his blood volume was 77%. Was 7 so if you do that on your calculators, you get 5.2%. 2.5 litres. All nice and easy. Now of course, if you are at a party and you guys are going to be on your peas and so you know you can't have any alcohol in your system, say you do have a drink and you still need to drive home, what you need to be able to work out is how can you get your blood alcohol content back to zero? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, there is no quick and easy way. But mathematically, we can say that a healthy liver can only break down about one standard drink, 10 grams of alcohol per hour. So once you've stopped drinking, the body can only reduce the blood alcohol content from, by between 0 0.015 and 0 0.02 per hour. So, for a body that reduces blood alcohol content by 0 0.015 per hour, the number of hours before zero blood alcohol content is reached is given by this formula. Number of hours is blood alcohol content over how fast your body reduces this. Now, of course, this is only a best estimate. I would never rely on this to accurately tell me how sober I was. I would just make sure if I was in your situation, that I wouldn't drink at all. 
Okay, you see also for a body that reduces blood alcohol content by 0.02 per hour, the formula changes slightly. So, let's see how we can use this. Let's keep going with Justin and Brittany, which we've just worked out. They're both on their pee plates, let's say. And they stopped drinking at 11pm and waited for one of them to have a blood alcohol content of zero and they could legally drive home. Who drove home and at what time? So assuming the blood alcohol content reduced by 0.015 per hour. So now we need to work it out for both of them. So let's have a look at Justin first. We know that his blood alcohol content, which we worked out in the previous example, was 0.044. That was what it was when he stopped drinking. So we know that the number of hours is equal to the blood alcohol content over, in this case, 0.015. Because we're told that's how long it takes for them to stop drinking. So let's place in our number 0 0.044 over 0.015 and we pop that into our calculators and our calculator gives us 2.933 hours. Now what you need to do is you need to use your bubble key on your calculator because we really need this into hours and minutes because this is not really making any sense to me. So if you place it in your calculator, your calculator gives you 2 hours and 56 minutes. So it's going to take Justin 2 hours and 56 minutes to try and sober up. Alright, let's see what it is then for Brittany. So, Brittany, her blood alcohol content was 0 0.039. So for the number of hours for her, we can just place that into the same formula, 0 0.039 over 0 0.015. And our calculator is very helpful. It gives us 2.6 hours. And I would just like to say, as usual, put that using your bubble key into hours and minutes, and we get two hours and 36 minutes. So the question is who was the one who drove home? Well that's kind of obvious now isn't it? Brittany must have driven home. So Brittany drove home and its question is at what time could she drive home? So she stopped drinking at 11 hours, at 11 o'clock I should say. And she could drive home 2 hours and 36 minutes after that. So that must be at 1.36 a.m. So a lot of work involved, but it kind of does make sense once you have a look at doing it. So thanks for listening and I will be around to help you during class time.